Grammar School, Mr. Geeky's Rocketeers. Also, how to make a pop bottle rocket. Recording. So, we're looking at designing pop bottle rockets. So, we've got a rocket, so if you've got a pop bottle like this, it's got a little flange here. That flange is important because that's going to be held, hopefully, holding the bottle rocket down before it launches up. So, if you get a bottle rocket like this, it will take, as I just said, about um, 100 pounds pressure. It will actually take a little bit more, but if we work to 100 pounds pressure maximum, that's about uh, as, as, as high as it would go. We've got to be careful when we're cleaning the bottle because if we give it the slightest scratch or the slightest crack or anything like that, that will be a weak point when we're pumping it up to pressure and it will explode. So, we turn this thing upside down. So, if we've got this bottle like this now, just throw it a little bit bigger for you. Uh, got it upside down like this. We put an insert into here, which is watertight here. So we have what we call an O-ring here to keep the water from spilling out. We, we put water inside, like this. So this is water, or a liquid anyway. That can't get out past the seal. We then pump air under pressure inside like this. The air wants to tend to make the bottle expand a little bit like this. Now we know that air can compress. If I had a balloon full of air, I could actually squeeze the balloon into a small balloon by compressing the air. If I had a same, the same balloon with liquid in, I couldn't squeeze it because liquid, we can't squeeze liquid because that's basically hydraulics as it gets to your masses. Now, when we release the pressure here, the pressure of the air forces the water out through the nozzle and up goes the rocket. The only other thing that we need to think about with making these rockets is that we put a nose cone on the top and we must put some weight in at the top, otherwise it will not work. Okay, so that's the preamble. Uh, we're not sure what's going to happen now. If you'd just like to turn round, Clive, and show, you can see the people at the back working on the rockets. Over here, look. These are some rockets over here. Here's Fiona. Here's Fiona. Just look at the camera, Fiona. Here's Fiona. Holding their rockets over, just hold it like that, Fiona. Sorry, don't move it onto it. And here's, here's another rocket here made by uh, Adam. Now, what we're going to try, these are two litre, there's two litre rockets. We know that the smaller half litre works quite well. We're going to try and test these in a minute outside. Cut. Right, this is um, some tubing from the local do it yourself shop. This is 22 millimetre tubing. And this is a car valve. Uh, this is a compression fitting here. It's a, a brass compression fitting. The air comes along here, through this joint here, up here to this reducer, and it comes out here. That's an O-ring there to help try and keep a seal. Uh, and this device here is for a, a quick release to stop, so to release the buckle so it goes up. Not quite sure, but okay, cut line.
Well, that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed the little show. Just five minutes of fun, really. As we say goodbye to the Mekon. Goodbye, Mekon.